Tere tulemas, vaatamas aadet 5 pluss. Mina on Matte Saamer. Ja mina on Hanna Toots. Hanna, teada teile oli sõbrapäev. Selle puhul üks väike kommike sulle. Ära rikku oma isu. Pärast saadet söö. Olgu, pärast saadet. Aga tänase saate juures oleme me juba Eesti iseseisumist päeva lainel. Sellest inspireeritud ka meie riietus. Mina on väike mulgipoiss ja sina? See on minu vanaema pärandus mulle. Väga ilus. See ilus seelik ja proska. Väga tore. Saate külalisteks tulevad meile välismaalased, kes on kolinud Eestisse. Ja uurime neilt, mida nad arvavad meie väikse riigikese kohta. Saate külalisteks on meditsiinivaldkonnas töötav Paagi, Estonia Palerin Abigail ja insenneerija õpilane Minho. Tänases saates on veel külas Pagishri Bonula, kutsume teda Paagiks ja Abigail Matoks. Tere tulemast! Hello! 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 Hi! What are you guys currently doing in Estonia? I'm a dancer with the Estonia National Ballet. I've been here about eight years now, so yeah. Eight years? Eight years, yeah. This is like my eighth year being here. I moved here in August of 2016. And you, Pagi? Mine is very simple. So I came here one year before. I married to my husband, who is an Indian. But he is staying here since nine years. So I came here and I'm working as a quality specialist in pharmaceutical industry. What did you know uh, about Estonia or before? Or did you actually know Estonia? Because, you know, India and Estonia is <laughs> so far away from each other. <laughs> so basically, I don't know about Estonia uh. in the very beginning. But um, after my, my husband used to say that he's been here, so he's saying some stories. I was like, okay, okay, wow, wow. But when come to here, that was my first time seeing the snow, that too in February. So I was like, can we go to India? <laughs> <laughs> Did you have any warm clothes or? So at, um, from the airport, basically no. I have only one jacket. Oh. I don't know how I survived that day. <laughs> <laughs> but what about you, Abigail? Yes. Uh, well, I had lived in Finland before moving here, so I had a year to adjust to the cold weather and uh, buy all the gear and the boots. So that wasn't so much of a shock. Mm. Um, I didn't know too much about it. I had been to Estonia when I was little with my parents. We have a photo in the old town. But I was a toddler, so I don't remember it. Um, so it was quite, uh, I came with a very blank slate. I had, didn't know what to expect or, um, yeah, so it was fun to discover, actually, with such a kind of clear mind. And I personally, uh, when I heard that you will come uh, here and talk about uh, your experiences, mm -hmm. your life, I really had one thought in my mind that what keeps you here as a ballerina for so long? Because when I look around, I don't see as a... Uh, ballet being something popular mm -hmm. or... I mean, I think that's a, maybe a matter of point of view because I grew up in Cyprus and there there is no company, there is no... Um, they don't really support the arts too much. So my, I remember so clearly my first year here telling people I'm a ballerina and expecting this like, oh, what's that, <laughs> you know, answer. And everyone that I talked to was like, oh, I've been to this ballet, I've been to... And I was like, really? And people actually enjoy going to the theater and enjoy the arts and maybe it's not like the number one thing or... Um, but not just ballet, I found, you know, the operas are well attended, there's concerts everywhere, museums are very active and this was really so cool to be a part of a country that really supports the arts and is wow. appreciative of the culture. So I love being in this environment actually as a dancer. Now have a more positive view of, of Estonia. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and uh, now a very important question. Is it difficult to live in Estonia as a foreigner and have you experienced, experienced culture shocks some mm -hmm. ways? Firstly, it's not difficult at all. <laughs> so in some views, for example, when you come to Indian traffic, you can stay there for hours <laughs> and you can't complain. And everywhere you can hear peep, 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 peep. <laughs> So it's really hard. But when I come to Estonia, it, the first thing that I really like is no traffic at all. Go. <laughs> it's so clean, peaceful. As I said, no one will 
um, interfere in your life so much so it's good but <laughs> so basically from india so we used to be that kind of culture like if you if you go in a bus if someone is sitting beside you they'll be friends in the next moment <laughs> so it's quite common in india but here the people are a little bit reserved cultural shock another one is food we used to have sp- very spicy food uh, but <laughs> so and the second thing i don't know whether this is bad or <laughs> not but i'll see the thing is uh, there was this one colleague of mine she offered me bagi do you like fish i said yeah i like fish then she offered me kilu ah uh. Yeah. So we don't eat raw food. Oh, no. <laughs> so then she offered and she gave me. So now I was like, okay, but the first taste was a little bit uh, not good, but the second one was good. So now you like kilo. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> good. I can eat kilo. Yeah. You are then more Estonian than I am because I don't like kilo. <laughs> Same. <laughs> okay. And you are big guy? The positive culture shock, I think, was definitely just how safe it is here. I've never felt so, I think, relaxed in the country. And even just calling my sisters and telling they live abroad, like, you know, about how the moms park their trolleys outside the cafes. And she's like, what? Like, how can you, you know, and just, and being able to walk alone at night and these kind of things. It was such a nice surprise that I wasn't expecting. Um... I think from growing up in Cyprus I'm used to cafes and restaurants and stores being open late. And so when everything closes at 7 or 9 I'm like where is everything? I need dinner. <laughs> like it's at 10, especially if we finish performances at 10 and nothing's open. Oh, You're yeah. like, "Oh, okay, well, what do I do?" So it was kind of a funny one, but I really had no like bad uh, I think experiences in terms of something that was really hard to get used to and even just the like the way the bureaucracy works is so fast and easy and paperwork is like non-existent and you know all these things have made moving and living very smooth and mm. um but yeah also my job has a lot of people from a lot of different countries and i grew up in a very international setting so being in an international setting again is very comfortable and you guys are so nice talking about Estonia so <laughs> warm <laughs> do you know guys that uh, are independence day is uh, coming soon yes yes very, yeah. that's that's why we talk about our little yeah, country yeah. <laughs> actually this was one um one one thing i went to that i was so blessed i think it was last year in february when they were raising the flag and i went and you know there's hundreds and hundreds of people and i was just like it's so amazing that everyone can gather and there's like not that much police presence you know there's not people fighting on which side of the political party they're on and that the country could really just come and celebrate something you know and that's so rare i think in a lot of countries and i was just looking around like wow this is you know the capital city and there's hundreds of people And it's so peaceful, and it's, so it was really special to me. Well, thank God that. for that. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Truly. Yeah. yeah. But talking about God. Yes. <laughs> oh, such a smooth <laughs> <laughs> transition. <laughs> was it hard for you guys to to find yourself congregations in Estonia? What about you, Baggy? When I came to Estonia, the one uh, one week after, I came to know like most of the people talk in Estonian, not in English. Okay, fine. Then I started searching in Google. I was calling to one some of the churches members. Like they are not answering at all, and some people saying something in Estonian that I don't uh, talk Estonian. They don't speak English. So yeah, but later then I called to this church, New Life Church. Then she said like, yeah, I can uh, allow someone to translate you. Mm. At the first week it was really hard because someone is speaking at the same time. You have to hear. So yeah, but when I used to it, now I'm feeling so good. So I was like looking for a very good church where I can spiritually grow. So at that time uh, the pastor says so here you're not come came by coincidentally god bring you here that was the word that i really want to hear mm-hmm. and that's how that's how i find my congregation and i'm really happy to be in that congregation right now mm-hmm. and one of your congregation members <laughs> <laughs> sitting right next to you or yeah. in front of you I never expected like estonians are that much friendly until i went to that congregation <laughs> what about you abigail um, i moved here in august but I decided to come in I think it was like May or June to look around a bit and my mom was with me and um we went to one church and uh, unfortunately we actually missed the service but they were just packing up and 
um, they were very nice, but the lady was a bit pushy. You need to come to our church. You need to come. And I get, I got a little bit uncomfortable. And so, but then in the evening, uh, Vineyard Tallinn had a service. So we're like, oh, well, let's go check that one out. So I went in, and the pastor at the time like welcomed me and asked what I was doing and. Um, and he was like, you know, you should just go check out all the churches in Estonia. They're great. God's doing so much. And I was like, I'm going to come here. <laughs> like immediately I just felt this like restfulness, you know, that he wasn't like trying to like lure me into yeah, his yeah. thing, you know, but that it was about God's thing. And, and I've been there now for these eight years and it's undergone a lot of changes and it's just been really cool to see what God's done. And they've been such a support, even though, because I often work on Sundays, you know, the way that they've upheld me and just kept, uh, you know, kept in contact and kept uh, encouraging me in my faith and in different ways. It's mm -hmm. been really, really beautiful. Oh, that's yeah. great. Is it difficult to live out your faith in Estonia? Like, um, what is uh, the difference between Estonian society and uh, where you grow up, grew up in? Mm. I mean, for me, Cyprus is very religious. It's very, uh, it's an Orthodox country. So even um, when I went home recently, uh, there's so many, you know, sim religious symbols everywhere in the city. And uh, I was thinking like, oh, I, I never see that in Estonia, yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. But uh, before I moved, a lot of people told me like, oh, you know, be careful. It's an atheistic country. It's going to be really hard. And I haven't found it to be so, actually. Like people have been, at least in my circles, very open to having conversations about God and asking good questions. And I think the difference is I don't have like a context for them. Like when I, in Cyprus, when I talk about God, Jesus, the Bible, or some stories, most kids more or less know what I'm talking about. But sometimes when I'm talking about it now, it's like I have to explain everything from yeah, scratch. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, oh, you don't, you don't know that story? You don't know that? Okay. So uh, learning to do that, I think, has been maybe a bit of a challenge and how to be sensitive and not pushy and, you know, like all these kinds of things. Um, in India, of course, uh, it is like 2.4% of total population is there, but uh, still India is having a lot of population, like a lot of people. So I'm coming from that background where uh, we usually have a small place, but a lot of people. So it's not like everywhere you can see Christians, no, but uh, wherever you can find, wherever the communities are there, there are a lot of people there. So there was this one time, and that was a Good Friday where I'm in my church. So I sat uh, on the ground just like this for six hours. Mm. <laughs> our spaces are little, but we are so devoted to God. When it comes to uh, our Christianity, we are a lot more. And the one thing that I really find a little bit uh, different is here, uh, so when I'm from India, so the the people like, for example, some of, I used to be like uh, this uh, children teacher. So, so when they are coming, their parents are like, no, you should go. If you're not going, you're not coming to home. No, they'll just leave with us mm -hmm. and they'll go. The children's with us like uh, they are for two or three hours, they'll stay with us. So when I came to here, like uh, most of, mostly I didn't see that kind of thing. But um, when it comes to like speaking about God, not everyone in India will take it in a good way. Mm -hmm. Some people will say, oh, you are born like this. Why are you changing like this? It's not good. But here it's uh, quite different. Here, some of my Estonian friends, I'll, if I'll speak about God, at least they don't uh, criticize me. They'll listen. They'll say, oh, oh, nice. Okay. Then exactly like you, they'll ask me some questions. I'll tell them. So yeah, it's a, it's that kind of things that I'm brought up with. Mm -hmm. yeah. And wonderful that you guys have had the chance to talk about God mm -hmm. to people who don't know Him. So yeah. you have done a wonderful job. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you. But uh, soon we will play a game. Aga enne kui me nendega mängu mängime, lähme minu biiblisse. Kui eelnevad külalised olid alle siljuti kolinud siia Eestis, siis järgnev külaline on Eestis lausas sündinud. Tere tulemast, Minho Kim! Tere, tere! Väga huvitav nimi, kohe alustame sellest. Minho, kas see tähendab midagi? Jaa, Minho tähendab siis tõuse ja sära. See tuleb piiblist ja saaja 60 salm 1. Ja jah, see on tõuse ja paista, sest issanda alla valgus tuleb ja tema ohilgus koidab sinu kohal. Et seal tuleb siis see nimi. Väga ilus. Ja. No võime öelda, et, et sa eks ju ei ole selles Eesti juurtega. 
Kus, kus sa pärit olid ja kuidas Eestis sa siis jõudsid? Mina olen siis päritolu poolest, olen Lõuna-Korealane ja äh, nagu sa võtlesid, siis ma olen sündinud siin Eestis. See on siis erandlik, sest mina olen ainuk enda peres, kes sündis siin Eestis. Aga siis mu pere tuli äh, siia Eestisse aastal 1996 ja siis see oli ka ühe nende sõbrakaudu ja nad tahtsid kuskile minna siis missionärideks, kuskile välismaale. Ja siis nende sõber tuli kaks aastat enne, tuli siia Eestisse, siis, kes, mis oli siis just paar aastat aga nüüd saanud nõukogude liidust vabaks. Mm-hmm. Ja siis äh, sõbrad ütlesid, et, et kuulga, Eesti on päris hea koht, et just värsk, et nagu tulnud nõukogude liidust välja ja siia võiks nagu vabalt olla. Nagu, et tööd on palju siin. Ja, ja. ja siis mu vanemad otsustasid, et äh, olgu, lähme Eestisse. Ja siis tulidki, terve perega tulid see Eestisse ja siis on siia maani nüüd 28 aastat peagu elanud siin. Aga kuna me oleme minu piibli rubriigis siin, et siis ma kohe küsiks sinu käest, et piiblis on mitmed inimesi, kes on siis elasid teiste rahvaste keskel, nagu näiteks no, võõramaalastena, nagu näiteks siis Ruit, Noomi, Abraham ja nii edasi. Et kuidas on sinu kogemus Eesti rahva keskel üles kasvades mõjutanud susku ja isikliku arengut? Ma peaks mainima seda, et eestlased on hästi sellised rahulikud, hästi ka siis vaiksed ja tagasihoidlikud, aga nad on ka väga mõtlikud ja mõtlik siin ka väga targad. Ja see tõttu nagu, ka mina olen nagu nende sellist iseloomu nagu ka endale nagu omaks võtnud, ka nagu olla sellised rahulikum. Ja samas ka austades ja siis viisakusega pöörtes nagu inimeste poole. Ja siis ka kirikus olles, et noorte töös, et mul antakse ka seda isiklik ruumi, aga samas korraldatakse ka laagreid, piknike, matke. Et see on nagu, on nagu hästi kooskõlas, et ei ole liiga palju, ei ühte, ega liiga palju teist. Ja... Saan käia jah, sellist erinevat üritustel ja siis see osadusaeg on nagu olnud väga selline oluline ja see osaduse kaudu ma olen siis ka nagu, see on aidane mul nagu rohkem ka kristlastes sõpru leida ja ka enda sellist kogudust ja siis sealt olen ka saanud, ma tea, kasvada mm. usuelus rohkem. Kas sa siis iseloomu poolest oled rohkem eestlase moodi või lõunakorealase moodi? Äh, Ma ütleks tegelikult, et ikkagi eestlase moodi, aga nüüd see oleneb ka tegelikult, kus kultuuris olla. Et korea, korea kultuuris olla, siis see on natuke erinevam, aga Eesti kultuuris olla, siis, siis, siis ma olen rohkem, kuna ma olen Eestis ikkagi rohkem üleskossanud, siis see tõttu ma olen omandanud siis rohkem sellist Eesti mm. kultuuri. Aga kui palju üldse teie peres sellist korea kultuuri siis nagu tänapäeval eksisteerib või, või kuidas... Kas teil on mingisugused elemente seal või? Ja, ikka. Ma arvan, et üks põhilisi oleks kindlasti toit, korea toit. Et Koreas on väga, väga levinud, väga suur toidukultuur. Et see saab nii tänavate kui ka siseruumides. See saab igasugust toit osta. Ja see tõttu paljud on ka selle vastu huvi tundnud, eriti eurooplased ja seal lugas ka eestlased. Ja... Ja siis see tõttu me ka kodus päris palju sööme korea toitu ja tihti sööme ka sellist fusionit, korea ja eesti sellist fusionit, mm. et mingi element on korea oma ja mingi element on näiteks eesti oma. Üheks näiteks on näiteks kartul, keedetu kartul hakli ja kastmega ja selle kõrval näiteks kimchi. Et mõni võib öelda, et see on huvitav kombinatsioon, aga minu arus soovib väga kesti. Okei, okay. ja noh, selles mõttes ei saa üle ka ümber su fantastisest ju riietusest, aitäh ja. sulle, et, et sa tulid ja. presenteerima. Korea riietuseks ju? Jah. Noh, igapäevaselt tavast ei kanna? Igapäevast ei kanna, jah. See, selliseid riidid tavast kantaks siis riigi pühadel või traditsioonidel, traditsiooniliste päevadel siis, et jah, siis tavaliselt nii mehed kui ka naised kannavad või... Varem oli ka niimoodi, et kui on abielu, siis ka, ka nii mees kui ka naine kantsid sellist uhkemad sellist riietust. Aga räägiksime ka nüüd piiblist, et näita, ja. et sul on siin kaks piiblit. Ja. Pealmine on vist eesti keeles. Ja, see on nüüd eesti keeles ja see on nüüd korea keeles. Ja. Aga, aga. Kumbad sa rohkem loed? 
Mina loen rohkem eestikeelsest piiblit, sest, sest koreagelt ma kõige paremal tasem veel ei oska, aga jah, enamasti loen eestikeeles. Kuigi... Kas toim näe seda? Jah, ikka võib. Kui vahel pühapäeviti, me loeme ka emaga koos. Uh-huh. Loeme sellist koreakeelse piiblit koos, et ka hoida ülevad minu seda koreakeele taset uh-huh. ja lugemise oskust. Et ja seal on pildid ja erinevad sellised tekstid, illustratsioonid, uh-huh. siis hakkas siis konteksti, konteksti seletavad sellised tekstid selle piibli tekstide kõrva. Aga on sul mõni... Äh... Ma ei tea, lemmikirja koht või midagi sellist. Mida sa saaksid meil ka siit ja. ette lugeda? Ja, ikka. Nii siis mu lemmikirja koht, teht mu lemmikirja kohta veel täpselt kujunenud ei ole, aga mul on üks kirja koht, mis mulle väga meeldib. Ja see tuleb Pauluse kirjast, Filiplastele ja neljandes peadikist ja 13. salm. Ja kui rääkeles on siis Naege nõngjagel tüsinen pun anesa. Nane moodun kusel halsu issem nida. Okay. <laughs> ja eesti keeles siis on äh, ma suudan kõik tema läbi, kes teeb mind vägevaks. Aamen. Et jah, selline. Väga hea kirjakoht. Mulle kõdagi korea keeles meeldis isegi kõdagi uhkem oli. <laughs> ja. Kule, aga, aga väga tore, aitäh, Minho, et, et sa tulid ja, ja jagasid meile natuke oma elust ja, ja ka oma piibli lugemisest. Äh, nüüd Lähme tagasi äbikaili ja pagi juurde ja teeme mängu. Okay, we're back. Uh, this is exciting game. It looks exciting. The first time in history we are doing tasting game Amazing. or uh, food game. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I have uh, we have some traditional foods here mm-hmm. uh, that Estonians, Estonians like too. and yeah. adore. Uh, and uh, you have to put together the food and the name. Okay. Mm-hmm. The names are in Estonia. Okay. Uh, you can taste, you can uh, smell, you can, I don't know, don't put your fingers in it, but, uh, <laughs> but you can do uh, whatever you want, but you have to match the name and the product. So first one is this. Kama. Uh-huh. Kama. 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 Yeah. Do you know this one? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so which one should it be? Do you know? Do you already know? Okay. This okay. one, I, this yes. one I know. Because I had an interesting experience with it. Okay. So, this one goes here. But okay. do you tell the, the story. Do you want me? Yeah. So, my Estonian friend was trying to explain it to me. And uh, she kind of fooled me into believing it tasted like hot chocolate. All right. And what? Yes. <laughs> She's like, it's like, it's like a, it's like a chocolate kind of thing. And I was like, awesome. And when I tried it, I was like, girl. <laughs> I was like, this is not hot chocolate. Get your facts straight. Yeah. <laughs> this is not chocolate. Do you want to try it again? Maybe I would now actually. It yes. tastes but like chocolate. I can, I can tell it. her. Yeah. Now it tastes like chocolate. Foggy, have you tried it? Yeah, there is this one time my colleague said, like, this is our breakfast. Yeah. And I was like, okay, fine. Then what is this? Then she just add some powder and some yogurt, yeah. some sugar, and she said, oh, it was really quick. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. Well, Estonians, Estonians are quick. You can drink it, you yeah, can uh, mm-hmm. take it with spoon, whatever okay. you want. Estonians are, are like um, workaholics, yeah. so you can't spend too much time to to breakfast. Mm-hmm. Mm, exactly. You like it, guys? It's actually not bad. All right. It's a bit grainy. Mm. All right. It's like uh, cereal and milk like blended together. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Okay. First time. Uh, uh, first thing is uh, down. Mm-hmm. Second one. Kiluvelib. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Estonians would have the same. Kiluvelib. So one thing, kilo means fish. This is I know. <laughs> you mentioned it before. Thing, yeah, that is this one. Okay. I'm wrong, then I don't. I'm glad Maybe you, got you this. should try it. <laughs> this, one this, one this one, this one, this one, right? Mm, yeah, I think yeah, this one because okay. this is. Fresh, I'm glad you said fish because I got the butter bread part, but the rest. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Should we just do fish? Yes. yes. Uh, now I can it. at least eat it. <laughs> and now this we is just. A very watch. Estonian thing. Mm-hmm. But this I like. Oh yeah, you mm-hmm. like it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. You. Yeah, yeah, yes. 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 Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. We don't like it. No. <laughs> oh, really? Time for. Mm. Oh. 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 Abigail. This was... is one of the things that I always miss when I'm abroad. Always. Okay. Um, I want to say it's this one. 
Okay. But do you think Bug is not sure? Uh, I'm really, I have no clue about it. No clue. No. Well, do try it and uh, and no. see if it if it yeah. is the same okay. thing. Okay. And and if you're sure about it, then. Because I love these, but I can't remember the name. Do try I it. Think, I think it is. Mm -hmm. mm. Sure. Mm -hmm. These I, are the ones. I think I'm gonna stick with my gut feeling. Okay, Buggy. Yeah. You trust Abigail's instincts? <laughs> okay, got it. All right, next one. Hapu kapsas. I know this. Oh yeah. Hapu kapsas. Kapsas. All right. I hope my Estonian teacher. I'm sorry to say this, but it is looking like a teasing word in India. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Try to say it, Buggy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, that was that's very good. good. Okay. That was very good. Have you guys tried it? Yes, I like it though, so I'm gonna take it. Back. Yeah. You don't like tried it. Ooh. I never tried it actually. Okay. This is uh, often in our canteen at work. So. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and these ones, uh, you can make them differently. Yeah. Too. Mm -hmm. uh. Exactly. Okay. Let's uh, go with another one. Kiryu koer. Yeah. Kiryu koer. Kiryu koer. In English, a colorful dog. <laughs> I was like, I knew this. I just got a dog, so now I'm seeing everything in the, that says koer in it. Okay, well then I'm going to say that's that one. That because one? I'd be really sad. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like a dog. It could be. It could be a dog. <laughs> That would be so gross. <laughs> um, so let's roll with this one. How does yeah. this remind you of a dog? It's spotted. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. This is the last suit. word. Suit. Suit? Yeah. Suit. Suit. I guess it has to be this one. Yeah, this is the one I was saying I haven't yes. tried. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I tried not to smile when you said mm. you have never eaten it. I was, I was like trying to say it to see if it was coming. No, no. But you guys kept it very yeah. strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah poker yeah, faces. Like, yeah, well done. But you guys uh, got everything right. Really? So congratulations. Okay. And, uh, thank you for thank coming you. And, uh, and sharing your thoughts with us. Uh, after we finish our uh, show, you can uh, have those. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a treat for you guys. <laughs> thank you. Reward. So thank you guys very much. Thank you yeah. too. Thank it's been you. a pleasure. <laughs> No see kord oli veel ikka küll täitsa teissugune saade, kas polnud? Oli jah, ma isegi, ma olen kogu mõelnud seda, et mina olen selline patriootlik ja selline hästi eestlaslik, aga vaata, kui, kui hakkas see söögi mängeks, <laughs> siis ma ajatsin, et oi Pekki, neile meeldub rohkem Eesti toitu. Jah, jah, jah. Mulle täiega meeldsid nende riietsed. Vaagil oli nii ilus, väga ilus sinine india riiets ja minho riiets oli. Noh, sellist on oh. pole varem näinud. Jah, jah, ja, väga hulm. Väga äke. Aga äkki teksid meile lõpupalve? Jah, võin küll. Kallis ja Jeesus, aitäh sulle, et olenemata sellest, mis keelt me räägime või olenemata sellest, kus me elame. Me tohime tunda üks teist läbi sinu. Aitäh sulle ka selle eest, et sa oled Eestile kinkinud vabaduse. Ma tänan sind selle eest, et ta, sa oled, sa oled hoidnud Eestit. Ja ma palun, et sa jätkuvalt hoiaksid Eestit, et sa võtaksid... Meid enda tiiva alla ja juhataksid meid. Amen. Amen. Aitäh, et vaatasid saadet 5 plus. Ja Jumal õnnistagu teid.